Welcome to Daily Scripture Reading. I do not own the rights to this music. Ezra chapter 8, this is the King James Version. These are now the chief of their fathers, and this is the genealogy of them that went up with me from Babylon in the reign of Artaxerxes the king, of the sons of Phinehas, Gershom, of the sons of Ithamar, Daniel, of the sons of David, Hattush, of the sons of Shechaniah, of the sons of Farash, Zechariah, and with him were reckoned by genealogy of the males a hundred and fifty, of the sons of Pahath Moab, Eli Hunai, the son of Zerihiah, and with him two hundred males, of the sons of Shechaniah, the son of Jehaziel, and with him three hundred males, and the sons also of Aden, Ebed, the son of Jonathan, and with him fifty males, and of the sons of Elam, Jeshiah, the son of Athelia, and with him seventy males, and of the sons of Shepatiah, Zebediah, the son of Michael, and with him fourscore males, of the sons of Joab, Obadiah, the son of Jael, and with them two hundred and eighteen males, and of the sons of Shelomith, the son of Josephiah, and with him a hundred and threescore males, and of the sons of Bebai, Zechariah the son of Bebai, and with him twenty and eight males, and of the sons of Adzgad, Johanan the son of Hakatan, and with them a hundred and ten males, and of the last sons of Anakam, whose names are these, Eliphalet, Jael, and Shemiah, and with them threescore males, of the sons also of Bigvi, Uthai, and Zabud, and with them seventy males. And I gathered them together to the river that runneth to Ahava, and there abode we in tents three days. And I viewed the people and the priests, and found there none of the sons of Levi. Then sent I for Eliezer, for Ariel, for Shemiah, and for Elnathan, and for Jerib, and for Elnathan, and for Nathan, and for Zechariah, and for Meshalem, chief men, also for Joyarib, and for Elnathan, men of understanding. And I sent them with commandment unto Edo, the chief at the place Kasaphia. And I told them what they should say unto Edo, and to his brethren, the Nethanims, at the place Kasipha. Kasaphia, that they should bring unto us ministers for the house of our God. And by the good hand of our God upon us, they brought us a man of understanding of the sons of Mali, the son of Levi, the son of Israel, and Sherebiah with his sons and his brethren, eighteen, and Hashabiah, and with him Jeshiah of the sons of Merari, his brethren and their sons, twenty. Also of the Nethanims, whom David and the princes had appointed for the service of the Levites, two hundred and twenty Nethanims, all of them were expressed by name. Then I proclaimed a fast there at the river Ahava, that we might afflict ourselves before our God to seek of him a right way for us and for our little ones and for all our substance. For I was ashamed to require of the king a band of soldiers and horsemen, to help us against the enemy in the way. Because we had spoken unto the king, saying, The hand of our God is upon all them for good that seek him, but his power and his wrath is against all them that forsake him. So we fasted and besought our God for this, and he was entreated of us. Then I separated twelve of the chief of the priests, Sherebiah, Hashabiah, and ten of their brethren with them, and weighed unto them the silver and the gold, and the vessels, even the offering of the house of our God, which the king and his counselors and his lords, and all Israel there present had offered. I even weighed unto their hand six hundred and fifty talents of silver, and silver vessels, a hundred talents, and of gold a hundred talents, also twenty basins of gold, of a thousand drams, and two vessels of fine copper, precious as gold. And I said unto them, Ye are holy unto the Lord. The vessels are holy also, and the silver and the gold are a free will offering unto the Lord God of your fathers. Watch ye and keep them, 
until ye weigh them before the chief of the priests and the Levites, and chief of the fathers of Israel, at Jerusalem, in the chambers of the house of the Lord. So took the priests and the Levites, the weight of the silver and the gold, and the vessels, to bring them to Jerusalem, unto the house of our God. Then we departed from the river Ahava, on the twelfth day of the first month, to go unto Jerusalem, and the hand of our God was upon us. And he delivered us from the hand of the enemy, and of such as lay in wait by the way. And we came to Jerusalem and abode there three days. Now on the fourth day was the silver and the gold and the vessels weighed in the house of our God by the hand of Merimoth, the son of Uriah the priest. And with him was Eliezer, the son of Phinehas. And with them was Josabad, the son of Jeshua, and Noadiah, the son of Benui, Levites. By number and by weight of every one, and all the weight was written at that time. Also the children of those that had been carried away, which were come out of the captivity, offered burnt offerings unto the God of Israel, twelve bullocks for all Israel, ninety and six rams, seventy and seven lambs, twelve he goats for a sin offering. All this was a burnt offering unto the Lord. And they delivered the king's commissions unto the king's lieutenants and to the governors on this side the river. And they furthered the people and the house of God. The end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.